questions to ask you and uh, please provide complete answers. Uh, what type of companies advertise to children? What kinds of companies advertise to children? What type of companies advertise to children? Um, the, uh, the, I think the company um, uh, that provide uh, some educational uh, material, amusing um, uh, material, something like that for children. Mm -hmm. Maybe also stationaries when they are just selling okay, or advertising some stationaries. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What about food advertisements? Are they targeting children? Food companies. Food mm -hmm. companies, yeah. Especially snacks. Snacks. Yeah, snacks. like popcorn. Toys. Yeah. Also toys, yes, toy companies. Toys and a sports, maybe a sports device. Yeah, maybe a sports. sports instruments. Yeah. Yeah. They might also target children. Any other companies advertise to children? Uh, movie company as well. Movie companies. Oh, game designer, yeah. game. Yeah, video games, maybe. Video games. Video yeah. games, yeah. And internet games. Oh. Clothes also, clothes. Clothes, yeah. Clothes and some Barbie for girls. Yeah, toy, to, we said toy, um, toy companies. <laughs> yeah, second question. Uh, what methods and platform do advertisers use to target young people? What methods and platforms? Mm -hmm. Uh, the Microsoft? use of uh, popular popular toys, popular um, animation, animation. Yeah. Uh, use the for free free games. Some some free game. Popular movie. Some actors. Some model. I think Hi. for children. That's right. And <laughs> yeah, most of them are for. Actors in movie. Yeah. Also, they use bright colors and yeah, uh, bright color, okay. yeah animation, yeah. as you said. Yeah, these are quite attractive to kids. So, number three, why are parents and doctors concerned about kid advertising? You know, kid advertising? No. What is this? What advertising is, for children. Yeah, means advertising for children. When you are just targeting children in your advertisement, that is called kid advertising. So, why do you think parents and uh, doctors are concerned about kid advertising? Some kid advertising try to achieve, uh, attract uh, uh, kids buy uh, to have a desire to have some maybe jungle food or some not uh, good for children's uh, education or quality. Yeah, what else? Maybe some of them is not safe or hurts or maybe hurt the kids mm -hmm. mental or thinking maybe. Yeah, but most of them are, you know, are quite regulated and they are just uh, made for kids. But why uh, are parents concerned That's, about kid okay. advertising? Yeah. Uh, some because, advertising is about the... Um, because spend uh, a lot of money. And mm -hmm. some food or some play no, no, no healthy for the children. Mm -hmm. Some advertising is action and they make the make the children greedy. Mm -hmm. Greedy. Greedy. Um, or violent. You mean? Want more and more. Oh, they want more and more. Addicted. Addicted to gain, Addicted. for example. Maybe spend they... a lot of money. Yes. Mm. And they, they uh, spend their, their uh, spend 
uh, their uh, children uh, the children time uh, a lot um, on the um, for example game so uh, what do you think about children can uh, children make logical decisions no no i think no they cannot so yeah, you know they are inexperienced they are they don't have much experience and they make decisions which sometimes are illogical but parents teacher and doctors they should be concerned about it mm -hmm. but they, they can force their parents to buy whatever they want is that right yeah yes. yeah most of the time parents. yeah Yes. Have your children ever tried to make you convinced to buy something for them or for the house or for the family? Not too much for um, for me. Not too much. Not too it much. It wasn't too much. No. Mm -hmm. What about others? Have you ever had the experience that your children insist on or are pestering you to buy? Things for them because of some advertisement. Sometimes, sometimes, sometimes. Yes, no, never. Vivian. Sometimes, and uh, uh, my kids they asked there a few years ago about the drone, and then uh, when he got that uh, he put aside <laughs> and yeah. they, they don't have more interest about the when they get to the thing they forget <laughs> they never play with that no oh okay what about you Jean? have you ever had the experience hello Jean. hello Jean. here Doctor, how are you? Do you have kids? Hi. No, I don't have any kids. Oh, we don't have any kids. Okay, so we don't have any experience. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, what about you, Helen? Oh, um, for for my children, they are good. When when we shopping, they don't need anything. <laughs> They don't, they, don't don't ask ask, they don't ask you to buy anything yeah. for them? They don't ask buy something. Yeah. But now they are older. Oh, but now they are elder. Older. Older. <laughs> yeah. So let's go to the reading anyway. Let's see uh, what is wrong with uh, uh, vulnerable customers. So what do you mean by vulnerable customers? Uh, vulnerable, that means the people, they are not safe, like old people, for example. Old people are vulnerable for attacking virus. Yeah. So what do we mean here? Vulnerable uh, customers. Maybe, maybe children is a vulnerable uh, uh, against um, um, the advertise, advertise, yeah. advertise. So why do you think they are consumer, vulnerable consumers? Consumer, that means the people that use this one. Yeah, you're that right. That use something, yeah. They are consumer. Yeah. And they, so, are, they are not safe during mm -hmm. this advertise. So why, why do you think children are vulnerable consumers because they are not wise they are not enough wise to decide wise which enough. of them is good which of them is suitable for them then parents and the teachers they should guide them that's right so that's why we call them they are vulnerable consumers they might be fooled and uh, they might make it uh, wrong decision yeah yeah of course so that's why it, it is called vulnerable consumers so let's listen to the reading and then we discuss the issue okay. do you hear that no 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 oh no. sorry no. okay advertising to children 
Vulnerable consumers. Do you skip ads or get up to do an errand when a commercial comes on? The average child under five does not. Young children cannot distinguish between advertising and entertainment. Older children and teens recognize the difference, but they don't consider the negative effects of ads. It's no wonder that children and teens are the prime targets for so many marketing campaigns. Young kids may not have much of their own spending money, but they do have a lot of purchasing power. Kids greatly influence their parents' purchasing decisions about groceries, restaurants, vacations, and toys. Most parents don't realize that their kids are pestering them to buy certain products or services due to ads that have directly targeted their kids. Large corporations find sneaky ways to market to young audiences. Hiring child psychologists is one way. These specialists have taught marketers that three to seven year olds love to play make believe and seven to 12 year olds like to collect things. Businesses also work together to cross promote their products. For example, movie characters help sell cereal and running shoes and merchandise helps sell movie tickets. A ching. Parents aren't the only victims of kid advertising. Many health experts blame marketers for the rising costs of childhood obesity. Food marketing accounts for approximately half of the advertisements North American kids are exposed to each day. These ads feature everything from candy bars and soda pops to sugar cereals and fast food restaurants. Is advertising to children ethical? In some countries, there are strict regulations on marketing to kids. In Sweden and Norway, advertising to children on TV is illegal. In Quebec, Canada, advertising to kids in any way is against the law. The Advertising Standards Authority in the UK can ban an ad if it exploits a child's inexperience or encourages children to pester parents to make a purchase. In addition, product placement is not allowed in children's programming. Other countries rely on self-regulation. While regulations are tightening in many countries and industries, wise marketers know how to bend the rules. For example, it's no secret that kids see plenty of ads on programs that are not intended for child audiences. For example, reality shows. There are also few regulations in digital advertising. In fact, using sponsored internet ads that match kids' search terms may be the sneakiest and most profitable way to market to kids. Why would Johnny skip or close an ad if it's the most entertaining part of his online experience? Okay. So, uh, uh, let's, let's, let's listen one more time. This time part by part and discuss the different paragraphs. Advertising to children, vulnerable consumers. Do you skip ads or get up to do an errand when a commercial comes on? So what does it mean, do you skip ads? That means you don't want to show the ads to your children. Because quit, quit. skip ads. What does it mean? Um, maybe, maybe when I use YouTube, I skip ads all the time. It means you ignore. All the time. Yeah. Ignore and don't pay attention to the ads. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You ignore yes. and you don't pay attention to the ads. Yes. You have a click. You click the. You have a button. It says skip. You skip the ad. Yeah, yeah. Well, let's skip ads. Do you skip ads and get up to do errands? You know, to do an errand. What does it mean to do an errand? Um, task like like. Like a task, something mm -hmm. you want to do, some order, Pardon? order, order. Yes. Uh, to do around around the house is usually the thing that you do around the house at the store. To search you do or an to visit the ads. Pardon. It means to search or to visit to watch the ads. No, no. To do an errand means to do something around the house. Beauty. Means to do some task as uh, Helen said it's a kind of task you do around the house it is called an errand for example washing the dishes or washing the clothes 